Have you ever wondered what it takes to modernize a country's air defense capabilities? It's a complex process, involving strategic decisions, technological advancements, and a significant investment. One such example is the recent decision of the Philippine Air Force to significantly bolster their air defense by acquiring the JAS-39 Gripen, a state-of-the-art multi-role fighter jet. This move is a critical step in ensuring their national security and maintaining sovereignty. Today we'll track the journey of the Philippine Air Force as it takes a giant leap in air defense modernization. It all started with a crucial decision. The Philippine Air Force was on a quest for a strategic upgrade, a move to bolster its defense capabilities. In a world where air superiority often dictates the outcome of conflicts, the choice of aircraft was a matter of paramount importance. Enter the JS-39 Gripen, a multi-role fighter jet developed by the Swedish aerospace company Saab. Its compact size, coupled with its powerful engine, made it a formidable force in the skies. The aircraft's advanced radar system, its ability to carry a diverse range of weapons, and its cost-effectiveness were key factors that tipped the scales in its favor. Over the course of several months, the decision-making process was marked by careful consideration and strategic analysis. The Philippine Air Force, recognizing the Gripen's potential, concluded that it was the ideal choice to enhance their air defense. The aircraft's features and benefits were not just impressive on paper, but promised practical advantages in real-world operations. With the decision made, it was time to move on to the next phase, acquisition. Acquiring a state-of-the-art fighter jet isn't as simple as buying a car. It's a process that requires detailed negotiations, ironclad contracts, and meticulous delivery schedules. Let's delve into the journey of acquiring the JS-39 Gripen. The first step is the negotiation phase. It's more than just haggling over the price. It involves discussions about specifications, add-ons, and even pilot training. This phase is critical as it sets the foundation of the entire acquisition. Next, we have the contract signing. This is where every detail discussed during the negotiation phase is put into writing. It includes the cost, delivery dates, and terms of service. It's the point of no return. Once the contract is signed, the deal is sealed. Finally, we have the delivery schedule. It's not just one big delivery of 14 jets. Instead, the jets are delivered in batches, each with its own set of checks and balances to ensure that everything is as per the contract. Key dates and milestones dot this journey. From the initial negotiation meeting to the signing of the contract and the first delivery, each milestone brings the Philippine Air Force closer to their goal. With the acquisition process in full swing, the Philippine Air Force is on track to receive its new air defense system. The wait is almost over. The Philippine Air Force is in a state of heightened anticipation, ready to welcome the JAS-39 Gripen into its expansive fleet. The delivery of these state-of-the-art aircraft marks a significant milestone in the advancement of the nation's air defense capabilities. The Air Force has been preparing for this moment, ensuring all necessary arrangements are in place for a seamless transition. The expected arrival of the JAS-39 Gripen is viewed as a leap towards a modernized air defense system. As the Philippine Air Force eagerly awaits the arrival of the JAS-39 Gripen, its journey towards modernized air defense capabilities is just beginning.